Hey guys, today I'm going to show you five new and very interesting features added recently into Photopea. Photopea is an alternative to Adobe Photoshop. It will run directly in your web browser, so you don't need to install any software on your device. And with that, we got this huge benefit of a multi-platform. So we can use that on our iPad, Linux, Windows, whatever. It's just a web browser what we need. This is web-based software, so when they drop in updates, adding new features, we don't need to install those updates. So it's really, really easy to miss those new important features. If you're not like following really carefully on Reddit or something like that, you will miss that for sure. So today I'm going to put five, in my opinion, very interesting features recently added to the program. All right, so let's get started. Feature number one I want to mention is a 3D layer effect. So this is a really effective way creating this kind of 3D effect super quickly. So we can just click on this layer here with text, can be shape as well. And like always, we can apply some layer effects, layer styles. From there, you got this drop shadow, standard, outer, inner glows, but it's also like 3D thing. If you click on that, as you can see, now we are able to apply a proper 3D style to it. And we can also change direction, the angle, and also direction of light separately. So that's really nice. So we got kind of like gradient on this 3D extension. It's make look at like realistic. We can change the color of it as well. Take a look, that's really, really nice. So this is just a simple layer style that can give us this effect in seconds. So that's nice. This is the feature number one I wanna mention. You can use 3D effect right now, it's already added to the program. Second big feature is a local fonts. We don't need to load our fonts anymore. This is web-based software, so that was always a problem when you try to use your local resources. Now, right now, not anymore, because you can just simply open the phone menu. So whatever you use text tool, you got the phone name at the top, right? If you open that, you got all of the phones, but you can also click this checkbox here. You can turn on local fonts. Then it will take a moment to load all of the fonts from your computer and ta-da, you got access to all of your local fonts from your computer. So this a huge, Highly requested feature is finally added here. We can use local fonts in Photopea. That's great news. All right, feature number three is background remover. There are so many tools to remove backdrop in Photopea, but they add this uh, background remover the casual way recently. So let's click on the image, click select at the top, and you will see remove background. All right, click on that. And as I mentioned, this is this casual approach, nothing to set up, no sliders, no brushes, just like that. And it separate the car, as you can see in my layer panel, I can see the whole image. So this is a proper, proper mask that I can modify with white or black brush later on as well. So we got this very quick, very nice background remover built in, in Photopea right now. Next thing, as you know, the AI is really hot topic right now and we got little integration with AI. We got text to image integrated into Photopea. So if you head to window, more, you will see there is text to image option. You must turn it on first, so because this checkbox and it will pop up like on the right side with your panels and then you can type whatever you wanna type, a prop for Stable diffusion, and then you can click create. It will take a moment. And keep in mind, if you generate too many images in the very short time, it may stop working for a while for you. All right, cat riding a bike. Let's take a look. All right, and we got a new image generated for us by AI. So that's nice. cat on the bike took a few seconds to generate so keep in mind text to image is integrated in your photo 
just head to window more and you can find text to image right here and the last feature i want to mention today is content our crop this is so smart very often when we cropping image sometimes we make it smaller right but in some cases we actually making the image larger so we got this white area that we need to fill in with fake background we need to use some in painting techniques to create artificial backdrop so they think about this and build in this feature into the crop tool so take a look here's the feature here's my picture my fish on the bike <laughs> made by ai of course and if i select a crop tool from the list i extend the image on the right and be sure to turn on this content aware at the top off on confirm you will need to wait a moment the program is generating the new backdrop and ta-da, take a look, we got a new backdrop here that is matching the image. So that's a great option if you want to extend your background a little bit. Also, if you want to straighten the image and you want to fill those white gaps around, great new feature. So let's summarize. We got five new features added recently to Photopea. Content Hour Crop, Text to Image AI. Remove backdrop by one click. Now we can use local fonts and we can apply really cool 3D effects straight from the layer style panel. I hope this little list was helpful and follow me for more tutorials like this. I hope I will see you in the next video. Bye.